Okay, hi everybody. I'm excited, okay, because um, guess where I am? I'm trying to lose 25 pounds after eating all that good food at Stu Leonard's. Um, and one of the ways I found to do that was to come to the Structure House, which is down in Durham, North Carolina, and Duke University is just the stone's throw away from here. And I'm lucky enough to be with Dr. Rickle, Katie, who's been a friend. You know, we've known each other for like 10 years mm -hmm. now. Yeah. And I'm at the Structure House, and, and you know, I, I, I got to lose weight, right? And it's tough. I'm around food and wine and everything all day long. So, and by the way, they've been on Dr. Phil. They've been on Dr. Roz. This is a pretty hot spot, you know? Um, but anyway, Katie. Give me like three things. What, what do you? What, what should I do? Yeah. Well, Stu, as you know, I mean, this this pandemic has been at Structure House. We talk about all the triggers for overeating, and our three main triggers are stress, habit, and boredom. And the pandemic has brought out these for everybody. So, um, you know, anybody can follow a diet or an exercise program, but the important thing is really getting to the bottom of why you go to food for reasons besides nutrition. And for a lot of people through this pandemic, it's been stress, habit, and boredom. So the most important thing is really figuring out other things that you can do to address that stress and um, other things that can become habits, healthy habits, and things you can do to help the boredom. So. You know what I find too at the store? A lot of food is brought into me all the time and sometimes I just go, whoa, I ate those three chocolate chip cookies, or <clears throat> I ate a, that much of that chicken pot pie that the chef let me taste. Mm -hmm. How do you prevent that from happening? Yeah, well, something that we teach here at Structure House, as you know, the most, the, the sort of everybody wants the, you know, the, the magic bullet for weight loss. And we have the closest thing to the magic bullet, and in Structure House, that's our journal. So the journal, where you write down everything that you plan to eat, and then everything you've actually eaten. And um, a strategy that, you know, in the research has borne out time and time again as being the most powerful thing you can do is making that commitment to write down every single thing that you eat. And that way, when you have the, you know, the, the cookies or the chicken pot pie, um, when you've made a commitment that you're going to write, write it down, you may think a little bit more about if you really want that and how much you're going to eat of it. And then you have some quantification of, of exactly how much you eat. You know, my cousin Dan Arthur, he worked at Stu's for like 40 years. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he uh, retired. Mm -hmm. And poof, he lost like 25 pounds. <laughs> <clears throat> so I said to him, what are you doing? He said, I use this app called Lose It. Mm -hmm. yep. And he said, I write every single thing down that I eat. Yep. Yep. And he just keeps track of it. Yep. Every study that's been done here at Structure House, every study that's been done in the field of weight management at large, tells us the same story, that people who track what they eat will lose more weight and will keep it off longer than people Sort of how the name came up, Structure. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so mm -hmm. you have to structure your food consumption. Mm -hmm. And not only structure your food consumption, but also structure your life to have a rhythm to your day, going to bed at the same time, getting up at the same time, having exercise be a regular part of the protocol. Uh, yeah, no. That's one thing when I go back, I'm gonna put on my calendar actually, mm -hmm. a regular exercise mm -hmm. program. Yeah. I'm gonna also put down what I'm gonna eat mm -hmm. every day. Uh, I know it works and I'm happy to be here. Mm -hmm. We're happy to have you. I already you. feel recharged and rebooted right here. Yeah. And uh, you have an amazing staff of people, too. Thank you. Because <clears throat> what I like is it's not just about the food. Mm -hmm. but you also have a lot of uh, registered dietitians. Mm -hmm. right? Yep, exercise physiologists, life coaches. We, we have to get mm -hmm. at this problem from all angles. Yeah. And you know what's nice? <clears throat> Excuse me. I wrote, um, I was with one of your life coaches this morning, mm -hmm. Keegan. And um, one of the things she said, take a little time every day to write down what you're grateful for. Mm -hmm. So you sort of, I think, having a positive attitude mm -hmm. yep. Um, yep. also maybe helps relieve stress, which mm -hmm. i.e. Mm -hmm. helps you control your eating. Absolutely, absolutely, okay. yeah. So you think I'm going <clears> to, <throat> what do you think? Uh, I gonna think you're going to do it. You've done it before. Yeah. <laughs> done it before and a great thing that you do is when you realize you need more support 
coming back to a place that has given you support and has been helpful, and it doesn't have to be Structure House. It could be yeah. any any other any other program. That well, this is sort of like my ace in the hole. Mm -hmm. When I feel like I'm wandering and I'm and I'm lost, mm -hmm. and I the scale just keeps going up a little bit on me every day, even though I think I'm trying to manage it. Coming back here is like a reboot, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, and yeah. I love that. Yeah. So anyway, um, thank you. Okay, <laughs> it's been great down here. Pleasure I think to have you. I, th I I would highly recommend this structured house here in Durham, North Carolina. To anybody. Um, and you got a good friend here with Katie, because you love Stu Leonard's too, right? <laughs> we do, we do. <laughs> okay, hey, thank you.